Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to implement push notifications using Firebase inside your Unity app. If you haven't watched my previous video about Unity's own notification package implementation, then here is the link to that in the i card. I will also put a link in the description below. So without wasting any time, let's dive into the implementation part. Alright. I have an empty project setup here inside Unity. I'm using Unity 2020.3.f1, the LTS version. Before start coding, we need to do two things. First make a custom package name and add a custom key store. You'll have to type a password there which we'll be using to build this apk in future. Ok, to do that, go to file, build settings and player settings. Go to publishing settings and there you can see a button called key store manager. Click that and a window will pop up. Here give a location to save your key and provide passwords. I'm saving my key store inside my project and giving an alias name. Save that and now change this company name and product name. This will generate a package name in the publishing settings. Copy that to the clipboard. We need to give this package name to Firebase console to identify our specific app. Ok, now we are going to create a Unity project in Firebase. For that, open your browser and sign into the Firebase console. Click on add project. Here you can give a name to your project which will be displayed on the Firebase console. You can add Google Analytics if you want, but in this video, I'm not including this. Click create project, then the project will be created. After creation, click continue. Now you have successfully created a project in your Firebase console. Now we need to add our app to this project. For that, click on the Unity icon. Since I'm only covering notifications for Android, click on register Android app. Paste the package name we have copied earlier and add a name to identify the app. Then click register app. In the next step you will get a json file to download. Download that and drag it inside the asset folder in unity. Click next and you will be asked to download a file based sdk. Download and unzip the package. I have already downloaded and unzipped. It's about 2 gb in file size. In the unzip folder, you can see .NET 3 and .NET 4 packages. .NET 3 is no longer supported for Unity 2019 and higher versions. So go to .NET 4 folder and drag the package we need called Firebase Messaging to our Unity project. This will take some time to import. After completion, click on next and continue to the console. We are almost ready. Now we need to set up a small script to handle notification. For that create a C-sharp script inside Unity and open it in Visual Studio. Delete the update method and add namespace, firebase.messaging and system. Now we need to add two event handlers called onTokenRecieved and onMessageRecieved. For that, add events in start function and add handlers. That's it. Save everything and get back to Unity. Take an Android build and install it in your Android device. Now we need to send a notification from the Firebase console. For that, open Firebase console on your browser and select the project. Under Engage section, select Cloud Messaging, then start sending your first message. Give titles and click Next. Select your project and schedule your notification now and click Review. And click on Publish. You can see your notification is completed and received on your Android device. Alright. You can schedule the notification anytime you want and you can enable or disable notification sound. If used properly, this notification system can highly influence your user engagement. And that's it, this is your Firebase push notifications for Unity. As always, like, comment, share and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video.